Hey, what's up, my YouTube friends? Welcome to my review of this rifle, the Hudson Striker in 25 caliber. This rifle is manufactured in Turkey, and this video is to help out those who may be considering purchasing this rifle. Unlike a real firearm, you can purchase this on US Amazon in most states. It was $130. I will include a link below the video for your convenience. The maximum velocity is listed as 750 FPS. This has a beautiful wood stock with some crosshatch texturing. Has a rubber recoil pad, integrated cheek rest, has an automatic safety, a scope stop, and a top rail for a scope. It has an adjustable rear sight, which is green fiber optic, and it has a fixed front sight, which is red fiber optic and hooded. This rifle is a Springer, and I did weigh it. Mine weighed 6 pounds, 13 ounces. It is a brake barrel, so in order to load it, you pull the barrel, which exposes the breech, and then you load the pellet in head first. Uh, it is fairly easy to pull the barrel, not strenuous. That might be a tight fit with the pellet. Straighten the barrel has an automatic safety, push it forward to be ready to fire. Speaking of that, here is some usage footage. Here's a look at the top rail and the scope stop. This did come with an inexpensive uh, $30 scope. I have not dialed that in yet, but the regular sights work well at close range, definitely, once you adjust that rear sight. At this time, I'm going to roll in the footage of the spam test. When I first got this rifle, I did the spam test at the indoor range, actually. Now, the rifle was still dieseling. I was still breaking it in, but here is that footage. Here are the results of the spam test. So those are the entrance wounds and those are the exit wounds. All right now I am using H and N Barracuda rounded alloy pellets. And as you can see, they just shot right through the meat, right? So that meat is going to represent like small game, right? Now you can get heavier pellets and you can get more pointed pellets, but even the rounded alloy pellets shoot right through. So this is valuable information. You know, if you have a pest problem like rats, for example, this rifle will just annihilate a large rat. It can basically shoot through meat, no problem. I did have a lot of fun at the creek that day. Not only did I test out this rifle, but I tested out this. This is a genuine Kukri from Nepal. 
right? Royal Kukri. If you like all kinds of cool stuff like this, air guns as well as knives, swords, multi-tools, uh, flashlights, bushcraft knives, all sorts of cool gear as well as uh, prepping, go ahead and subscribe and keep watching for the review of that Kukri. Final thoughts on the Striker. It's a very well-made rifle. I found it easy to operate. I really like the price, uh, $130 for a 25 caliber. It's, it's very powerful as well. Can definitely take small game. Uh, rabbits, no problem. Larger game like raccoons, yes. Coyotes, you know, it just depends where you hit them, but this will go right through the skull of a coyote, also depending which pellets you use. But yeah, uh, definitely a powerful rifle, and the price was right. Really, the biggest competition is other, other models by this same brand, all right? And check out my uh, air gun playlist if you're interested in those. But Hudson sells this as their good entry-level rifle, and I'd say uh, it would make an excellent uh, first break barrel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the links below. I'm out.